and welcome back to Colonial Sports Center. I'm Chris Ancola, and of course, I finally have him. It only took us four years to get him on this in, in studio. I have the one, the only, Mr. Nico Brett. Nico, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Now, uh, Leah and Haley have talked about it earlier in the show. You were named NEC Player of the Year for the third consecutive year in a row. That, that's absolutely incredible. How, how does that feel? Well, it feels really, really good, you know. It show where I'm putting in the work and the result that I'm getting back. So I feel just continue to work really hard and see what com comes in the future. Now that hard work has really paid off pa the past four years. And most recently in the semifinals, you did get your 100th career point. What was that like? Can you kind of talk us through that moment? Uh, actually, we were down two goals. So I was just focusing and trying to score that goal and try to get by the team in the game. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But it was still a memorable game, correct? Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> but, you know, it's a semifinal. You're losing. You always want to win a semifinal to go to the finals. Now, what was it like to kind of just even go through this entire year with the ups and the downs and finally make it to that last, that, that, that milestone, the NEC semifinals? Ah, it was really good, you know, it take a lot of work and, you know, dedication. Um, the boys stick to the task and we did our best, so I have to say congrats to the boys. Now, a lot of these questions I'm, I'm, I'm asking for you, but you talk about the team and uh, how you guys are as one. Can you kind of talk about the camaraderie you have on the team? Oh, it's just fun, you know, everyone just try to have fun at every time, but when it's business time, you have to put in the work and give it your best. Now, before you and I were talking, and during pregame, when people were trying to talk to you, you said that you kind of just go into your own zone. What is kind of your, your, your method of kind of preparing for a game? Well, for me, I just like to be zoned out. I don't like to talk to people. I just zoned out, not think about the game and just do whatever I need to do to get um, prepared for the game. Now, kind of looking over the overall season and your career at Robert Morris, what is your prob your favorite memory or something that you will always take with you no matter where you go? Uh, make it into the conference tournament. Is there anything that kind of for like the team, maybe it was like an inside joke or a funny moment that you'll always remember? Ah, uh, whenever Bennett screamed, like, <laughs> he's always messing around screaming, so. Can you give us an impression? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, not right now. It's not for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to save for the games, right? They'd yes. have to check the highlights. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, looking on into the future, uh, you have a lot of success coming in and going out into the season or er, er, out of the year. Um, you play with your former teammate, Speedy, who has had great success in, in uh, Major League Soccer. And a lot of teams looked at him during the school year it's, it, itself. Have you seen, have you gotten any kind of um, attraction from any Major League Soccer teams? Yes, because I've been scoring goals. I've been working really hard and, you know, teams uh, making connections. But I was just focused on my season. Mm -hmm. Right now it's over, so I'm trying to stay fit, ready for the MLS Combine in January. So you are accepted into the MLS Combine then? Um, it's not sure as yet, but there's a 95% chance I'm going there. So. What does that feel like? Uh, <laughs> it's just okay to me, you know, like working hard. Um, the hard work doesn't stop as yet because like I don't reach where I want to go as yet. So. Now, kind of uh, the last question here, it, as a senior, what advice would you give to e incoming athletes and more particular incoming freshman soccer players? Uh, be prepared um, to fight because it's not an easy sport. It's not an easy game. You know, you have to work really hard. So sometimes you have to put in the extra work that you need. You know, you don't need a coach to tell you, okay, you need to work on this or that. You just need to, like, figure out what you need to work on and then do it. What was the most difficult thing that you kind of went through your past four, ye four years here? Uh, the food and the weather. You know? <laughs> Not used to the Pittsburgh weather? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big difference between Jamaica and Pittsburgh, it right? It is, it is. It's a big difference because it doesn't snow in Jamaica. So after but my first two weeks started to get cold, I was like, wow, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. 
<laughs> well, Nico, thank you so much. Thank you okay. very much. It for was a pleasure. Me. It only took us four years, but it was a pleasure getting you on here. And of course, congratulations on everything you have accomplished here. And we wish you all the best of luck going forward, okay? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Well, when we come back after break, it's finally the time to say goodbye to two lovely ladies and two dear friends of myself. And we're going to see as they kind of recap in the past four years and what they have and seeing into their future right after the break.